Hello and welcome back. Today we're talking about Dot Mike again. These guys have burst on the scene the last few months with some of the most racist left wing bullshit we've seen in a while. In our crosshairs today, we've got a video called We All Have Racial Bias. Let's check it out. All right, so in my experience, racist is one of the most triggering words for white people. Wow, you're very comfortable talking shit about white people. Okay. Well, yeah, a lot of white people have been getting triggered by the word racist lately. That is true. And it's because a lot of people like you have been calling white people racist lately. It's not coming out of the blue, guy. Channels like Dot Mike, BuzzFeed, Seriously.tv, MTV News, you all have been calling white people racist over and over again for the better part of a year. That's why white people are being triggered by the word racist. Because you keep calling us fucking racist for no reason. This is also why people are leaving the left like it has the plague. And your left wing anti-white propaganda is also why Trump won. And since we're talking about trigger words, well, if you want to know what word is a black person's trigger, say... Say nigger. Fucking nigger. But are all white people racist? Let me explain using science. Well, that's an easy answer. No, all white people are not racist, obviously. We don't need science to answer this ridiculous question. And I don't usually get my science from scruffy looking black dudes with pubes on their face, wearing dirty ball caps that are falling off their tiny heads. You and that discount Woody Allen guy and Mike are both wearing caps like this all the time in all of your videos. And it looks fucking dumb every time. And what's up with their name, dude? It's a Mamuda, Mamudu, Mamadu, Mamama, Mama, Mumu Mama, Mamadu, Mumu Mamadu, in the eye, Mamondu, in the eye, Ayaku, Umutaka, Bungaka, Undaka, Bunda, Umbaka. Short answer, no. Long answer, yes, of course. You're a real douchebag, man. God, so smug and condescending. And here's the thing. If you want to say all white people are racist, you're also saying all people are racist. And if we're all racist, I mean, who really gives a shit anymore? It's like saying we're all human. We all eat and we all sleep. You've diluted the word racist so much it means nothing now. Congrats. You're actually helping the real racists out there. The people attacking other races, firing races, abusing them. The real racists racists are now better off since you've watered down the word racist to mean everyone. Now it's not so bad for them to be called a racist because we all are. This is similar to the overuse of the word Nazi lately. Once these insults are flung around so much, they lose all their meaning and thus their significance. Nazis aren't just violent fascists anymore. They're anyone who is not a Democrat. And now everyone is a racist in some way because of racial bias. A racist is defined as someone who feels discrimination or prejudice to people of a different race or feels that one race is superior to another. You're probably already like, oh my god, but that's not me. Hold the fuck on, I'm not done. It's like three minutes left in this video. Chill. Okay, in case you guys missed it, this guy, Moo Moo, he's trying to make us laugh here. Did it work? Comment laugh below if you laughed, and then go outside, find a tall building, and jump off of it. Kill yourself, because this was not funny at all. This is garbage. We need to rid the world of people who are dumb enough to think this Dot Mike shit is funny. Let's purify America. Purge the populace of anyone who is this dumb. I don't care what race you are. This isn't because he's black or white or whatever. I'm not a racist. I just hate idiots. I guess I'm a stupidist. Let's make America smart again. Again. A lot of people are probably focused on the latter part of that definition, perceived racial superiority. But this behavioral neuroscientist is focused on the word prejudice. That word is the centerpiece by which the rest of this definition can exist. Okay, Marmalade, you read a report written by a neuroscientist. Good job. You sound real smart now. But I still can't take you seriously with that silly hat on. No one has ever said anything relevant or smart wearing a hat like that. Inside prejudice is bias, or the inclination to have certain opinions based on your personal experiences. Whether you think that Drake and JLo go well together, or that the 1996 motion picture Space Jam is the best movie of all time, it is. You gon' at me, come bat me. I know this is another joke, but come on, dude. Moo Moo. Space Jam is no one's favorite movie. Have you ever even watched it again? It's still good, but it's dated as fuck. Let's go take a test. The Implicit Association Test, or IAT, was a test developed by Harvard researchers to examine correlations between certain attributes like good, bad, fun, evil, and targets like black, white, gay, or straight. Hey, Marmalade, this test does not prove racial bias. Not even close. I even looked into the IAT. I mean, this is the basis of this guy's so-called scientific video about racial bias, after all. Let's see if it checks out. Well, looking at the website, there are a few troubling quotes, to say the least. First, under ethical considerations, the site strongly states this test is only for educational purposes. The IAT should not be used to make decisions about oneself or others. That's not a good start. Next, in the frequently asked questions, there's a funny answer to the question
question, what does it mean if I take the test more than once and get different results? It says, no test is perfectly accurate and some variation is to be expected. Come on, Dot Mike. This is your scientific proof? This is not an accurate source to use when researching racism, much less racial bias. This IAT test is more akin to a personality test or some silly quiz on BuzzFeed that will tell you how much of a 90s kid you are. It means nothing. Pew boy, you have failed. When I took the test, I showed less racial bias towards any one group, probably because I had a very diverse upbringing with friends and family from all walks of life. That puts me a little bit lower on our racism spectrum. Of course, this guy thinks he's the least racist person there is. The same guy who said before that all white White people are racist. But are all white people racist? Yes, of course. Yes, of course. Yes, of course. Yeah, Pew Boy thinks he's the least racist. How? Well, probably because he doesn't think black people can be racist at all. I mean, what else could it be? Maybe it's the whole real racism equals prejudice plus power bullshit? That, or maybe he thinks you can't even be racist to white people. Either way, he's wrong and he's an asshole. I did have a little bit of racial bias favoring people of African descent, which makes sense because I was raised by people of African descent and spent the most time with them. But you you just said you had a diverse upbringing. Now you were raised by all black people? I mean, which one is it? So, the IAT isn't the end all be all whether you're racist or not. But if you're like, man, according to this test, I might be a racist, start by diversifying your friend group. Pick up a history book, talk to folks who aren't like you. It's never too late to unlearn prejudice, but you have to acknowledge that it exists first, fam. So in order to not be racist, you gotta go out and get minority friends, read a book, and of course, admit you're racist. That's fucking retarded. Who cares if some stupid Harvard smarty pants test says you're racist or not? If you don't think you're racist, you're not racist. If you're not hurting other people because of the race, you're not racist. If you're not firing, hiring, or working with people because of the race, you're not racist. Real racism isn't just a thought, it's actions. Doing racist things makes you racist. If you just sit at home alone one day and think, hey, I don't like Mexicans, they seem lazy. Well, is that really racist? I mean, sure, technically you're believing your race is superior in a way, but this is certainly the most harmless, negligible type of racism. I wouldn't even count it in most cases. Yet, here we are, talking about thought racism. Thought racism is what they try to get you with the most. That's what Dot Mike is trying to do here. In an attempt to call all white people racist, Dot Mike and Pew Boy here have included anyone has ever had a racist thought ever. Racial bias is what they're calling it, and it sounds much worse than it is. We're really just talking about personal bias here. I mean, everyone has a bias, and that doesn't make everyone racist. And on a side note, about him suggesting people go out and find minority friends, start by diversifying your friend group. Pick up a history book, talk to folks who aren't like you. It's never too late to unlearn prejudice. That's some real racist bullshit right there. I mean, how does that even work? You just gonna walk down the street looking for black guys to chat with? That actually sounds like a racist thing to do to me. You're trying to befriend people based on the color of their skin. That's racial discrimination. And that's not how friends are made. I mean, not really. People become friends with people who are around them, living in the neighborhood, coworkers, gym buddies. It doesn't matter what race these friends happen to be. They could be mixed or they could be all white or all Asian. Who cares? You're not a racist just because you don't have a black friend. You think people living in Montana have diverse friend sets? No, it's all white people there. Would someone call you a racist because you don't have a French friend or Mongolian? No. And expecting everyone to have a perfectly diverse set of friends is just silly. One last thing. Why do you think Pew Boy asked this at the beginning? But are all white people racist? Let me explain using science. He doesn't ask, are all people racist? He says, are all white people racist? And that's the biggest problem with this video. It's called, we all have racial bias, but this guy just talks down to white people the whole time. This is black privilege at its finest. I mean, a white guy can never get away with this. Can you imagine a white guy on YouTube saying this kind of shit to black people? It looks like Dot Mike and Pubeface are displaying the very privilege and racist traits they mistakenly tried to call out in others. What smug, hypocritical bastards. In the end, racial bias is not the same as racism, nor is it inherently bad if we get right down to it. It's evolutionary psychology, really, part of our survival instincts. We do come from tribal peoples, after all, and the easiest way to tell someone was part of your tribe was skin color, and repulsive feelings towards different skin colors who could harm you, that was a defense mechanism. It kept our ancestors alive. And today, it's just an evolutionary vestige. One too many people are eager to jump onto, to call others racist. Well, it's time we stop that. Let's quit calling everyone racist, guys. Let's make a deal, Dot Mike. How about you quit calling everyone racist, and we'll quit being triggered by it. And Pew Boy, one last note for you. Racism is not a spectrum. This isn't a fucking rainbow. You're either racist, or you're not. And I think you might be. What do you guys think? Are all white people racist? Is racial bias the real thing? Comment below, and thanks for watching No Bullshit. See y'all next time. Oh, she, yeah, yeah.
Hello everyone, we wanted to take an extra minute and have you take a look at these little cute guys. That's kittens, and mitten kittens, and stinker, and widdly do. Those are some of the harmless kittens that have been surviving off of the No Bullshit Patreon account. Go down to No Bullshit Patreon store and uh, donate your money now to save cats and save lives and just be a good person and don't, don't be a dick, you know, don't, don't be a dick for once, for one time. Give us your money to save cats. One more way you can support the No Bullshit Show is buying our merch. We've got all kinds of shirts, mugs, white shirts, black shirts, hoodies, all kinds of cool stuff at our Teespring store. If you're looking for some swag, I definitely recommend checking it out. And all the proceeds go right back into the show so I can make more videos for you guys. Thanks so much for your time. Goodbye again.